we'll go ahead and start off with uh, Coach Gilbert going and talking about the huge win on Saturday, Coach. Yeah, huge uh, team viewing, and uh, I mean, it's what we talked about was just uh, being able to come away in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams, and, and being able to have that kind of team win uh, against that uh, you know, kind of opponent, a ranked opponent in this conference, a good football team. You know, we were able to come out and do those things. So really excited about that victory. Uh, was able to pull a lot of positives from it, a lot of things to build on going forward, you know, as we hit this stretch of uh, right here in the middle of conference play. Um, you know, so excited about it, uh, motivated about it, and, uh, you know, just determined about our guys. And, again, our guys came out and played with a, a lot of effort, a lot of physicality. Um, and then, you know, we're able to combine it with some with execution, you know, in all three phases. Can, can you talk about the offensive line? I know there were injuries. You were three deep at the at the center position. Uh, no mistakes made with bad snaps or exchanges or anything like that. And uh, we're able to, you know, come back and, and have two of those two scoring drives yeah. after we've gone down to, to, to third guy. I, I just was very impressed with their effort and how it looked. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, it, that was a huge team deal as well. And, and myself as well impressed with just that situation and how those young men, you know, handle that and, and uh, just those guys being prepared for that opportunity in that moment. <clears throat> You know, we talked to our football team about that. Uh, you know, we ended up playing three of those guys on Saturday. Uh, and those guys going out and, and being successful in what they did. So that was huge. That was huge for our team. You know, just to show the unselfishness and just showed, you know, how, just to prove a point of you got to be prepared and you don't know when that moment's going to come or when that opportunity is going to come. And for both of those guys, you know, they were ready and uh, went out and were able to perform and execute, um, you know, at the level we needed that to, to happen at. And coach, uh, the process of building the program, every team kind of wants that signature win to kind of let them know that they arrived. Would you consider Saturday's win to be that? You know, it was a big win. It was, it, it was a big win, and, and just the, the type of win that it was uh, that we were able to have the success in all three phases and go down and do the things that we did. You know, I, I do. I, I mean, it was a big win. I, I don't know if I would tab at that. Um, you know, the, the wins we've had previous to that have been big too. You know, just continue to get this program at the standard and, and that we wanted, at the level that we wanted uh, to come back and year in and year out, you know, be a competitive team and, and a team at the top of this conference. Uh, and then going on to be able to compete at a national level. So those are things that we're are still in building, um, you know, every day that, that we come to work and our guys show up to work in that process of. And um, I mean, we're definitely taking steps in that direction. Um, you know, every day and extremely proud of our guys, uh, again, for how they went out and played, uh, just the energy, the effort, you know, the togetherness um, that we played with on uh, with Saturday was huge and definitely, you know, definitely a positive, definitely a positive. You talk about the process a lot. How important was it to get success within that process? Because in the past couple weeks, you said you guys were close. Yeah. But this time you actually have something to show them just, and kind of then lead to the next step. Yeah, it's huge. And, uh, you know, we we have we talked about that last week in here, just talking about how close we were and and away from those those other two games and you know going out and being able to win and go finish a game. You know, I talked about that after the game, just battle and finish, and our guys were able to go do that. That was huge. Um, it'd be huge going forward. Um, you know, and just and and the you know one thing I talked to our guys about is just you know making sure that even through a win that you're still you know still disciplined and still detailed. You know, sometimes you know winning can be a dangerous band aid. And uh, you still got to be detailed. You still got to be disciplined through that, um, you know, as you're continuing to, to, to create and, and set the standard and the culture as you go forward. So, um, you know, we definitely took all the positives and we took the, the mistakes that we made and pointed those out and corrected yeah. those. And, and, you know, in the process of, of making sure, you know, we don't repeat that uh, going forward. But, um, you know, it, it was huge to be able to come away um, you know, with the victory on Saturday again against a quality opponent. Would you say Saturday was the best that your team has responded to adversity given the large comeback they have and then, you know, you guys kind of went back and forth in the fourth quarter. Would you say that was the best the team responded to? Yeah, you know, we've played in a couple of games where we've been, you know, where it's been back and forth <laughs> and the momentums have shifted. Um, you know, I think our guys have stayed focused through that. I, th I think they've done a good job of, of staying level. Um, not necessarily riding that wave of emotion. Um, and I thought our guys did a good job of that again on Saturday. And again, it was good to go, um, you know, through those shift changes and, and then again, be able to come out right there uh, to go score late, obviously kick off to them and have our defense hold them. 
um, you know, and to get the ball and, and uh, you know, right there at the end and, and, you know, finish the game out the way that it did. Uh, but, yeah, I'm extremely proud of our guys with that. I think it goes back to maturity. I think it goes back with, you know, having some experienced guys who have been through some of that, um, you know, just ups and downs of a football game and just being able to, you know, emotionally stay in check, uh, you know, as we play four quarters and we finish a football game. Going on the road this week, uh, you know, obviously you've lost the two games you played on the road, one, you know, to FBS, the other one was close to uh, Abilene Christian. But is there anything you change about how you approach a road game this week to try to, you know, get that win? No, uh, not as far as, you know, our approach. I mean, our approach is, is uh, we'll be going back about being disciplined, about being de detailed, going back and getting on the field and being able to correct anything uh, that was mistake-wise, you know, that we need to get corrected. Uh, and then just continue to do the things well that, that we have done and to just be better within that. And, uh, you know, that, that's what we're uh, uh, in the process of coaching and creating. Um, you know, it's just a consistency of being able to go back out to practice tomorrow. Our guys know tomorrow is a work day and we'll go to work um, and get ourselves in a you know, situation as the week goes on to, to just improve uh, from Tuesday all the way through Friday. Um, you know, throughout the whole year, that uh, you're going to be have the, the most conditioned team out there. Did you see that in the fourth quarter? You know, we felt really good about it, and and um, you know our guys have been, and that goes all the way back to to spring when we got here. It goes to this summer, you know, it goes to fall camp, and then just the continuation of how we practice, uh, and then just some you know some of the things that we make a priority in this program, and uh, you know that's hydration, that's eating, that's resting, uh, and making sure that's a priority in our guys. You know, daily life. Uh, you know that when you get to Saturday, it really gives you a chance to to be that kind of football team. So, you know, that's something within our culture. Um, you know that we're we're steadily on, um, and, and and you know believe our guys are are feeling that. You know, I, I know through previous games uh, as well. You know, with play counts and things and how games went. You know, our guys were in really good shape. Um, you know, I've talked to our guys about you know being able to you know continue to play. Um, and and the Lovers guys felt good about it, you know, and just talked about the condition they're in. You know, Coach Little and those guys have done a great job. So, um, you know, it's just been good uh, with that, and, and our guys have, you know, just only steady increase with that as the season's got on. The ability to run the ball the other night and throw the ball deep, is that what – I mean, is that – did we see what we want the offense to be, basically? Yeah, I mean, that that's uh, um, a huge part of it. I mean, being able to run the football like we did, um, you know, it was huge. Mac had a really big night. You know, you don't have those kind of nights without those five guys up front. So those guys did a great job. Uh, you know, then we were able to execute some throws down the field, which was huge, uh, and just creating that rhythm and, and, uh, and tempo, you know, that, that uh, we do like to see. Um, you know, so that was a, uh, obviously every week we've gotten better uh, on that side of the ball. And, uh, you know, that was, that was uh, you know, probably the best we played all season was Saturday. What do you know about UCA? What do you expect from them? Yeah, you know, really good football team. Those guys are 3-2 and two right now. Um, you know, lost to Hawaii, lost to Nichols. You know, two really good football teams, FBS team. And then Nichols, I believe, was ranked 15th. I don't know if they're new in the polls. It's with that right now where we sit, but a really good Nichols team. Um, you know, they, they won uh, against uh, Western Kentucky and then beat Abilene in that first conference game, you know, 31-30 um, in a, in a hard-fought bottle, you know, where, uh, you know, Abilene went down to kick a field goal and miss it right there at the end. So, you know, really good football team. They've done, a, you know, a really good job there. Um, they're balanced, you know, offensively, defensively. All three phases are sound. You know, they got a really good quarterback, big, you know, big-time receiver that's one of the top receivers in the conference. Um, you know, so really good football team. You got Six, you're six games into the season now. Uh, where would you – do you think the team is where you thought it would be coming into the season? You know, I think you're just really open-minded about it. When, when you got a, a first uh, season and a, and a first group, um, you know, you, you, you set a standard of, of, you know, possibly what you would like to see or like to be. And I think we're really on that. I think we're on that stride uh, of, of getting that. Um, you know, with our guys, and, it, and it's just, you know, it's just taking growth throughout, you know, the, the, these first six games, you know, and that's in all three phases. Um, and I feel really good about where we're at right now um, and just, you know, where we're at and, and what direction that we're headed. I would say personally for you, obviously, first time as a college football head coach, 
what have you learned from the start of the season to now that I guess you probably didn't know preseason? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it, it's like anything. You know, until you go through something, you know, with somebody, especially when it's an adverse situation uh, or just, you know, not getting the results that everybody's working towards or, or something's, uh, you know, not right. And, and what you get at that moment is, is you really get the good – I mean, you get a good character feel of your football team and your guys and, and who each individual is um, and who we are as a football team. So I think as those games have gone on, um, you know, every, every week with, with whatever's happened through the game, you, you get a real good, you know, feel and knowledge of exactly are what we are as a football team, who we are, uh, who our players are, you know, what, what are we as a family. And, um, you know, when you sit here six games in, uh, you know, I get a, you get a really good feel uh, and an understanding of that right now where we sit. And, um, you know, that's probably why I say I feel really good about where we're at, uh, the direction we still got to go. We still got work to do, um, you know, in the scheme standpoint, uh, in a culture standpoint. Um, and, uh, you know, that's something our guys are working at every day. Coach, you stay with Ray Bourne as your field goal kicker? Mm hmm Yep, as of right now, you know, Kicked really well on uh, on Saturday, and uh, you know he's handling really well. You know he's done a good job. Are there any concerns? I'm you know I really don't know about a kicker that has to deal with all three. I'm not sure how prevalent that is across college football. But are there any concerns about him doing all three? Yeah, I, I mean I don't know if concern is the word. I think you just gotta you gotta understand and manage the the fact that that guy's doing all three of them. I think that's that's the biggest thing and. And obviously, myself, Coach Lee Pack, had those conversations about just how how to manage him through the week, you know, in the game. And the thing is, you know, about him, if uh, we we still confident and know, you know, and and that's the one thing we feel good about our crew, uh, our depth at that position, um, you know. So, uh, you know, concerns? No, that's not the word I use. I, you just got to understand the management of uh, of that of that guy, you know, Bailey. UCA do defensively? What are they? What are they good at? Yeah, they're uh, you know they're sound. Uh, they'll mix up coverages. You know they got good athletes on that side of the ball. Um, you know the, obviously the wins they've had, they they they've had against you know good people. West Kentucky's a really good football team. You know they played week one. Uh, you know then to go out and travel out to Hawaii was a good football team and just that trip in itself. Um, you know and they went and played those guys. You know really close and um, you know they're, they're a good football team. Appreciate it.